please welcome Jamie Dukes. Hello, everyone. How you doing? Hello, everyone. How are you? First of all, I want to thank Dr. Lee as he's walking out on me. That's kind of the story of my life. He just, you know. Okay, I'll see when you get back. Go ahead. Enjoy it. Thank you. Um, you know, this, this is a very exciting time for me. And, and for all of you, I hope. Um, we have some serious issues that are going on. Uh, and we have a lot of young people here. And I'm glad that we have a lot of the young people here, a lot of the children here, who can understand, you know, the issues and challenges that we're dealing with. How many people were out, outraged by what we've seen going on in Ferguson, Missouri? Adults? Okay. Now, your kids are here watching you. Okay. I know somebody said some bad language at the television set. I know somebody said some bad language out of frustration, out of anger, out of angst over what we've seen and whether it be up in Madison, Wisconsin, here in DeKalb County just recently. And the point of the problem is, is that our children are seeing us. They take their cues from us. What we've been talking to students about and talking to these students about is about one word, respect. Somehow, some way, we've got to get the message through to our young people that respect is not a bad thing. I want all the kids in here to say, Yes, sir. I can't hear you. Say yes, sir. Say no, ma'am. Did anybody get hurt? Do we need to call 911? We got the fire chief here. Do we need to call 911? If we can just get our mouths right and our attitudes right as far as dealing and respecting not only fellow classmates, our teachers, our parents for sure, law enforcement, fire department. If everybody can just respect everybody, we're not gonna have the challenges and the problems we're having because the problem that we have, we had a serious epidemic on our hands because unfortunately our young people can't, they take their cues from us, but when they're away from us, which is about 60% of their day, they don't know how to process the angst of what? To the wrong person. That's why we have to do something. We have to do something. And that's why I'm thankful for Dr. Lee uh, seeing the vision of what we're talking about because we're talking about a very simple program. I know you're asking what is Frontimals. What we're doing is we're putting in a program, you have the book there, it's called Beware of Frontimals. And effectively what we were doing with this philosophy is very simple. When we look at the mistakes and failures in our life, it's guaranteed that Frontimals are at play. Frontimal number one, family. Whether intentional or unintentional, family can enable dysfunctional behavior. How many times have you asked your child to just clean up your room, baby? And they didn't do it, and you asked them again, and then you just went on ahead and do it, did it. Has anybody done that? Because you're just so tired, I, I'm just tired of asking, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Well, we, I'm guilty too, are enabling dysfunctional behavior because we have to get them to see that they have to discipline themselves to do so. There's also some of us in here that, you know, we work hard and it seems like every time that check rolls around, we got a cousin, a sister, somebody calling, hey, you know, if you don't mind if I hold something, do you? We all have been there. That's family. Friend number, number two, friends. These are people that smile on our face, stab us in the back. For the students here, if these are the students that encourage other students to do bad things, bad behavior, dysfunctional behavior. So there's family, friends, and then the third one is the most dangerous of the three. It's the friend that's the enemy on the inside. The kids know that voice. They know a voice tells them to do good. Sometimes the voice tells them to do bad. They are, young, they are smart enough to understand that voice. So it's family, friends, and the friend that's on the inside. And what we're trying to do here is get our kids to understand that when they make poor choices, you can rest assured that one, if not all, this is a bulletproof axiom. This is 1,000, you can't think of a situation where that is not the case. When you look at our lives and we look at mistakes and things that have happened poorly and bad for us and we have failed, one, if not two, if not all three are at play. 
So what we're going to be doing here in the district, in the county, and hopefully nationwide, because the NFL, we're partnering with the National Football League, because they recognize when all the things that are going on, you, you heard about Adrian Peterson, Ray Rice, all of these distance, different situations, the NFL recognizes it is vitally important that we get to our youth here. Because when they get our age, that seed is already bad. So this program is going to be a very simple program. The way it effectively will work is the kids will get books. We have an app online. You all can download the app. It's all free. This whole program is free to all the students. And then once they complete the program, on we're going to call it Frenimals Week, then they'll be able to turn around and we give them a band. I have bracelets on. Everybody here will get bracelets tonight. And the point is, is the visual reminders. You know, you see B103 here, some of our partners. The station I work for, 92.9 The Game. It's all about visual reminders. It's important that we see, they see. We have a, a, a line of clothing that'll be developed so that the PTA, they can generate money, raise money for the PTA, as opposed to selling cookies and chocolate, even though I love that, that little chocolate bar. Ain't nothing like that chocolate bar, Doc. That thing is nothing. I'm sorry, I got distracted. But the, the point to be made here is this. The thing I want everybody to understand is that everybody is frustrated in the process. We're frustrated. Law enforcement's frustrated. The fire chief, I've seen situations on TV where people don't want to help the firemen find out what's going on as somebody's house is burning down. Now that's crazy. The house is burning down. Get out of the way. Help. So, so my point is, is that as a community, we all have to come together to be effective. We have to teach respect, decency. It don't hurt to say thank you. It doesn't hurt. Our kids need it. And the most important thing, and this is the reason why I'm glad everybody's here, is because there's some special guests that are also here joining us. And you're going to hear how everyone plays a role. The first gentleman I'm going to bring up is a gentleman by the name of, because the reason, I, part of the reason I play that video is because I've had two careers already. I retired from the NFL. I am currently a broadcaster. I have three radio shows, two radio shows, and I work on NFL Network. The point is, we can be whatever we want to be, kids, but it starts with respect. If you can't respect that fellow student, you're not going to have the respect of others, and it's not going to work. 